don't confuse it for the music. Yeah, yeah. Roast to chef and crap. Not me, them probably bands when they say who's next. I'm part of the ends. No, I'm Liz not playing the fence. We can't make songs of your friends with them. No way. Me and Venus are two man step. I don't yeah, need to step yeah, with a yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. men. Still need me a hundred M's. What's good, people? It's your boy Rhino. Welcome to Rhino MG TV. We are back. This is my Manchester United match reaction. Make sure you like the video. If this is your first time um, on the channel, please subscribe if you want. Um, I'm going to be back active again, so big up yourselves. And if you're a returning um, viewer, big up yourselves as well. Brighton 2, Manchester United 1. Brighton 2, Manchester United 1. And just like my title says, we let our heads drop, man. We let our heads drop. And to be fair, um, I understand a lot of the frustration in 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 our fan base in it. Um obviously, you know, you've got the Ten Hag ins, you've got the Ten Hag outs, you've got the people that are okay, cool, I'll support the the decision, but I'm on him. I'm gonna make sure that, you know, he don't go out like he's not getting away with nothing. You've got other people that just want him out still. I'm in the category of, you know what, he's here, no excuses. And, yeah, man, there's a lot to talk about. So I'm going to quickly break it down because I even need to go on Sideshow. I'm doing a late one with my match reaction because where I was earlier, the internet wasn't too great. So I couldn't even do a pre-recorded video. But, yeah, man, I think for me, I'm not going to go crazy with... Um, I'm not going to go too crazy with it. And I'm not saying that people that are going crazy with it don't have a right to because I hear it but for me I'm just going to keep it chill and just watch these next few games you know it's two games in and for me I can see progress if we're looking at it on a grand scale of things and we're going to say that this club's going to improve within the next two three years we should be trying to challenge what makes you us think that the first two games are going to be gospel and that's it you know, yes, there's a lot to talk about. Yes, there's a lot of PTSD and a lot of, you know, ghosts of last season, should I say. Like a lot of negatives that we still have from last season, we're seeing in this new season. Fair play. But for me, there's a lot of progress as well. And I don't want to let the progress overshadow the negative side because the negative is going to take a lot to work on. Yeah, we can talk about other managers and how other managers have implemented their system or whatever. Um, whether you talk talk about Brighton, how they've got a new manager and whatever. But teams like Brighton, teams like Liverpool, they've set such a good infrastructure that the manager is replaceable. Yes, someone like Klopp brought a lot of extra value to Liverpool, but Liverpool are still going to play good. They've still got good players and they've still got a good environment. So as long as the manager comes in, and, you know, picks that back up and tries to implement his way, he's got an advantage. Yes, Ten Hag, this is his third season. There's no excuses. But we can admit that Man United have been badly run, whether it's the players we bring in, whether it's the players we sell, whether it's um, our youth team or our scouting or just the hierarchy and everything has been a mess and that trickles down. So for me, Sir Jim Ratcliffe... Um, Brailsford and all these guys have come in they've done a lot of the backroom changes and now we need to wait for it to trickle down onto the pitch and slowly but surely we're seeing bits and pieces of it yes I get it it's not great and I'm pissed we lost you think I'm not pissed I am pissed but I'm not going to try and let it get to me because at the end of the day there's a lot of positives I can take I'm not going to come on this angry thing I'm not on it I'm not on it I'm pissed that last minute goal was a dagger uh, um, the, like I said in the title, we let our heads drop. But for me, at the end of the day, we just got to keep it moving and hope hope the next game we see more progress. For the first half, we actually controlled a game of football. Brighton could not do nothing. They couldn't even press out their half. And the chances they did have, we defended very well. Yeah, we remained um, resolute. We remained compact. We kept our shape and we kept discipline. I even put it in the group chat. One of the group traps I'm in, I'm in, I said, you know what? First half, good. We controlled it. Let's not let our heads drop. Let's keep focused. And those two goals were purely lack of focus. Poor, poor, poor defending. 
absolutely baby defending, especially the second one. The first one, cool. Maguire could have stopped it with his other foot. Fair enough. But the last one, everyone just all on the right side of the goal, leaving three man free, and the ball just dinks over. They demand them this basically said, raw, who wants it? Raw, right there. And that's one problem. Yes, we've got a set piece coach. Things have to implement, but that's poor. And that's just a moment of us switching off, literally. So, yeah, you could say Brighton hit the post and Brighton had some chances. But what annoys me is that when United have these chances and don't put them in the back of the net and then we get punished later on, people don't want to say we deserve to win. But as soon as another team has it, oh, you men are lucky. There's that. I feel like people just don't keep the same energy. And United, there's always going to be an agenda. And other teams have it too, you know. Certain men that don't like Arsenal, Liverpool. Obviously, I don't like Arsenal or Liverpool, but I give them their props, you know. But they're, they're the ops. But I'll, I'm not going to be so stupid with my opinion and not be reasonable. Like, at the end of the day, if you look at the last game, on the grand scale of it, I feel like we deserve to win. And we won 1-0. Fair enough, we got a scummy guard at the end and second half were poor. But, if you want to use the same context as to the fact that Brighton hit the post and Brighton had so many chances, we did last game too. So wouldn't that mean the same thing that we're allowed to say that we deserve to win? So I feel like with this game, we could have put the game to bed from early. Um, second half, we were very poor. I think we lost our heads. We, were, we lost the discipline. We lost our shape. We started to move a bit rash. We started to make it a bit more of a basketball game in the post of the first half where we controlled it. The press was good. Mount and Bruno as their little false nines, as much as I don't, I'm not a fan of it, it was working. But then what was missing was the final cutting edge up front for a striker to put the ball in the back of the net. Because when Mount's winning the ball, it's Bruno going in advance. It's not someone like Hoyland. And obviously Xerxes don't have that pace. But still, like the balance is still a bit off. So it works in t in, it worked in a way to contain the game, but it just missed that final cutting edge. And then on top of that, we just lost our dis defensive discipline and then we just threw the game away, man. And then we gave it to Brighton. When Brighton scored, they, were, they had their tails up already. And then we kind of got back into it after we scored. But, you know, they, were just, they just wanted it more. And then the man them started to move a bit too rash. Everyone's all over the place. Everyone's scattering because everyone's trying to get a goal. But everyone's forgetting, let's relax. Let's keep our shape. And that's what cost us. So the fact we could control the game for a whole half not just 20 minutes, not just 15 minutes, and keep Brighton at bay, who are a good side at home. They were at home, we were away. For me, I take the positives from that, and we've got a lot of negatives to work on. But I'm, I, it's a process. I know people don't like that word, but it's a fact. It's a process. So, yeah, man, that's it for me still. Um, obviously, we definitely need Hoyland to come back into this team. Um, it's, 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 it's a shame that we didn't see Sancho I see Anthony get his little two minutes. That, so that shows us where he is. Um, I was pissed to see McTominay come on. Like, why is McTominay coming on? He, we're, we're focused on him going to Napoli. Like, and that's where I feel like Ten Hag sometimes drops the ball. Like, if you really don't want McTominay, don't use him. Like, let him know where it is. But I feel like Ten Hag lacks McTominay, but at the same time doesn't mind him going. And these times I'm debating with Marcel and he's like, oh, they're surplus to they're surplus to requirements. Ten Hag don't want them. Ten Hag don't want Maguire. Ten Hag don't want McTominay. He clearly wants these guys, man. He clearly likes them. And if you're going to support the gaffer fully, then you might as well support his decisions. I can't support everything because I'm on Ten Hag watch. And Ineos have done enough for me to give them enough credit in the bank for me to say, okay, you know what? They've done all of this. And all these little, little bits that I fully don't agree with or I could criticize, I'm going to let that get over my head and now criticize Ineos too much. Nah, don't make sense to me. So that's my opinion anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video. And yeah, let's have a debate in the comments when I'm back, man. Hopefully I can be consistent as well. I'm dealing with a lot of the music stuff and a lot of other things in the background as well. But I'm going to try and dedicate some time to be on YouTube a lot more. So yeah, man, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you agree with. Let me know what you disagree with. It's your boy Rhino, and I'm out. Peace. Don't confuse it for the music. Yeah, yeah. Most of Chef and Quest. Not me, them probably bands when they say who's next. I'm part of the ends. No. And Liz not playing the fence. We can't make songs of your friends with them. No way.
Me and Dina's are two man step I don't need to step yeah, with a hundred yeah, yeah. men Still need me a hundred M's